area. Okay. Welcome back. It's been like a week. over here. Welcome back. Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm not yet, actually, this is, um, won't be a long stream. So I gotta eat dinner pretty, fairly soon, gotta get it ready. So, uh, but I wanted to get back with the, uh, the game. As you can see, I have done a lot. I have gone up six levels. I've been doing a lot. I did a lot of farming. I mastered about probably on average like I want to say four jobs with each character including ninja for all of them. So ninja one of the one of the big ones is out of the way. Mastering ninja. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, if we look at jobs. Yeah, I got four here. For Bart's only three for uh, uh, Ferris, five for Galuf, and Lena's got four. So yeah, three to five. Per. I actually put it on. On I did put boost on. I mean, why the hell not use it? Um, the main thing is is getting. I, I did get. Uh, ninja. I have to look at the uh, the guy, but one of the main things I'm, I'm going to be doing in this playthrough is if I didn't, if you didn't, uh, I didn't tell you before, um, is making uh, each character a ma uh, a master freelancer. And freelancer is an interesting class because it's like the worst class in the game at the beginning for most of the game. The, the only thing that's good is that you can, um, it can equip any, any armor and weapon. But until you start mastering certain classes, it's not actually useful. You know, so once you change from freelancer to being the game, you're not, you're not, you're not going to use freelancer until way later. Once you get all the other, other, most of the other classes, the one unique thing about freelancer is that it will take some of the abilities from other classes as well as stats from certain classes and will uh, it'll um, how do you say it if you master certain abilities with certain classes it will inherit those so one of those abilities is dual wield all right which the ninja has we just got ninja at the, once when we beat the fire ship and uh, got the fire shards. And what happens is, so for a character, we'll watch this right now. I'll do, I'll do Bart. We'll put him to freelancer right now. And you'll see he's got no abilities. You can equip two because freelancer has no innate ability itself. You can actually put two abilities. Any two abilities you that you've uh, that you've learned. Now I'm not going to use dual wheel because I want to show you, but we'll put you know first striker, all right. Now equipment will switch to optional. You notice that right off the bat, he's dual wielding. You can't do that normally with the freelancer class until you master um, freelancer. He inherits that, so now his freelancer can automatically has dual wield. So it's not every every ability. So you don't even have to equip that on him. It'll you'll automatically always dual wield with with uh, with freelancer. There's other stats or there's other abilities that do that. It also the freelancer will also inherit certain uh, stats as well. And the stats that they'll inherit is based upon which ones you do. So like like I think for the the highest. 
and it's like a totem pole. So basically, if you like master, I think summoner, su summoner might, or if there's like a sage, I forget exactly, has like the best magic stat that it'll inherit. However, if you have, a, if you've only mastered black mage, it'll it'll inherit that stat until you master summoner or or one that has a a, a better um, master stat. Like like another one would be um, endurance. The best endurance stat based uh, job is um, I believe it's monk. However, Knight might be like one of the, the second best. So, if you have both Monk and Knight mastered with one character, it'll inherit, it can inherit in the Endurance staff from both, but it inherits a higher Endurance staff from Monk, because that's higher on the totem, that's the highest on the totem pole. So, it'll, it'll inherit that one. It won't inherit the, the Endurance bonus from Knight. It'll in Inherit the endurance bonus from Monk, since that's the highest on the on the list. However, if you don't have Monk mastered with that character, but you do have Monk, uh, Knight mastered, um, and say I forget what maybe uh, hypothetically maybe Samurai's third best. I'm just saying I don't know what the third best is, or even if Knight is second best. But let's say Samurai's third best. If you've Mastered all three, it'll take the 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 um, it'll inherit the endurance stat bonus from monk. But if you only have say knight and the second and third best ones, it'll inherit knight. The Knight's Endured stat and not the Samurai's Endured stat, who's the third best. But then, say later on, you go and inherit, so inherit, uh, or you master Monk, it'll then take the Monk's Endurance. It'll overwrite and raise that Endurance bonus that you get based on the uh, the, the Monk. It, it, it's a little complex, I don't want to say complex, but it's, you know, it's a little bit to get used to until you, you actually see it in practice. So basically, there, there's like, I think six or seven jobs that you have to master for inheriting abilities so that the freelancer will automatically have those abilities inherited so you don't have to equip them secondarily. And then there's another four jobs that you have to master in order to inherit the best stat bonuses for the four main stats, which are strength, agility, stamina, and magic. All right, so we'll be doing that over time. I think one or two of the, the, the at least one or two of them overlap, uh, I, I believe. But I have to see. But it, it's going to take a lot of work. So anyway, I, I did, a, you know, getting uh, Ninja out of the way. Um, another one to get out of the way is Red Mage. Red Mage, their master uh, level master level uh, ability I, th I believe is dual cast so you can actually cast two spells per turn that however is takes 999 BP dual wield to unlock that from the ninja takes 450 and the best I can do right now is get 8 BP per fight with the boost on so four, the 4 times boost because I can only get a 2 BP fight at this point besides bosses but you can't grind bosses we're going to come to later on a uh, enemy, not too long, um, once we are able to get the ship. That will, uh, what was it, Black Flames or something on this this island in the southeast uh, around Crescent Island. That yield, I think they yield 4 BP per fight with 4 times boost. That's 16 BP per fight. There's another robot enemy that's rarer, I think, and, and it's a bit tougher to fight if I remember correctly. They get five BP, that's so that's twenty per. So I'm not even gonna get like master those like red mage until I get I, I get more and get higher BP uh, total uh, battles. But anyway, let's continue. I, I just want to get to our next our next area is gonna be going to the. Uh, uh, the Library of the Ancients. 
but before we go there, I gotta see if I've cleaned and done everything else. I did master Beastmaster with one character, which is good because that now one thing about about the blue magic now that we have. Um, Lena's a beast master. She can, she has, as uh, you'll see here, control, which allows you to take control of a monster. Uh, I think Kong makes it easier. Palm magic beast. I forget exactly what Palm does. But that control is going to allow us to actually control monsters. There's some monsters that you will never have them cast their um, their blue magic on you unless you take control of them. Uh, I think White Wind, I think, is one of the abilities that, should, that like an enemy will never cast on you because it's a it's a it's a healing ability. It's like one of the best healing abilities or spells in the game. But we're going to start to use this. Remember, there, there was at least one monster that we did not get their blue magic from earlier because we didn't have a Beastmaster yet. So. Uh, let's let's continue with All right. Let's um we got I think we got to go back in the ship. Now let's talk to Sid. Oh, he's, he's not in a good way. He's taking us hard. I think we can go back down into the, the monster infested area. Oh, yeah. We can go back in there. Harnack Castle, if you remember, that was the timed area that was burning down. Uh, which we can't enter anymore. We're going to enter Harnack. Take away the northeastern portion of the town. Jump down my skin. Now that all this NPC dialogue's changed since the, the, the uh, castle blew up. She says something about the Castle of the Ancients. You know, Lapse in the fire pantry. You know, the second floor of the end of rest. Blocking the way to keep those in. Alright. Um. Ah. Okay. Now we can go up here. We couldn't get back up on this castle wall before. So now we can get this. Let's see. Uh, there's one, zero of one items. There it is. Flame rod. Um, did we have... Did we have some... Uh, oh, let me, let me move him back to... Uh, no, I don't know what I want to make. No, oh, maybe we'll make him that. Um... Him learn. He can't equip shields. That's it. I don't know if I... 
Yeah, I'm almost, almost want to change these characters to something that they're going to be loaded. Let's roll with this with this group. For now. Alright, let's see only now this is pub. Alright. Let's finish up with this town. Let's see what time it's in. Let's get I'm running my mouth the whole time. Sid's grandson mid. Yep. Yeah, it's starting to get cold because the fire's going to get weaker. Courtesy of the destruction. Of the fire pistol. Yeah, so he's taking it hard now. Alright. We're gonna try one more thing. Is we want to get Aqua Wake because it's extremely useful, I believe. If I remember correctly. It's a powerful blue magic spell. It's the only, I think, it's the only water-based. Yes, there is water element in this game. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I should have put. Maybe I should go back to my. You see this little desert right here? There is an enemy called a Dorm Chimera that we have two characters that can learn this. There he is. All right. Yeah, I think he uses it normally. So he's got a thousand HP. It's very hard. Oh, you frick use it. There we go. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, okay. We're an aqua breath. That's worth it. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go in, uh... Heels. Actually, we just use a damn. And I got so much money now too. I put on two times money and two times experience, four times BP. Um. I 
and just hit level 20. Rake is going to be very useful because there are some enemies that are weak to to water that is going to be uh, helpful, definitely helpful in killing. And that's, I think this is the only water-based spell in the game. Uh, ice is separate from water. Let me see what else we... I think we gotta get level 5 death in here. Yeah, level 5 death. Oh, uh, that's right. Oh, and one of the bosses. Is that the boss? Is that a wait? Is that a boss? No, 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 it's not a boss. The boss is um, this clown. Actually, yeah, two bosses. I'm probably going to do Library of the Ancients tomorrow. I'm actually perfect because I need somebody divisible by five, their level. Let's go to, uh, let's head to the Library of the Ancients. Which is right here. Um, Race to a sound missile dragon. Oh shit, all three <laughs> these are all three encounters I needed. She's very weak. Even with dual wheels. Nice, look at the blocking. That was a two. Alright, let's just make sure. That was perfect. That was in one battle. All three. Door of Chimera. Chimera. That's level 23 enemy. He even fights harder than that. That's 20 defense. Oh, we get a trident. Well, I don't have anybody who can use a... Except for a fr freelancer. I don't have a dragoon yet. Alright, grass tortoise. Nothing from the bees. Mithril Dragon. 600 HP stealable. I think we got Mithril. We sure loves the Mithril. I got a ribbon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? This will go on, so okay. Let's see. I got one myth roll on there. I can buy more, actually. Alright, so that doesn't. It's level two. All right, so right now I actually might turn off. Um, I 
You know what? Let's. Let's enter. We got all these clowns. Basement sticks. Yeah, so there's monsters over there. So Sid's got a grandson named Mid, and Mid's very smart like Sid too, maybe even smarter. He's an up-and-coming researcher. And uh, this is the Library of the Ancients. It's like the Library of Alexandria. It's got a lot of knowledge in it, a lot of ancient knowledge. However, it's being overrun with um, monsters. So we're going to be on second floor. We gotta go onto the roof. This is a healing pot right here. And we're, oh, didn't really do that. We're gonna go onto the roof. Uh, quick save here and switch it. Alright. I don't know which ones those are. So we got... This book. We're going to be fighting book monsters and... This one, we have 32 now. We wanna. Alright, this is what we want. Nice! Alright, perfect. Kill it. There we go. Got level five death. All right. Even if your character dies, as long as he sees the, this, but now I don't have to worry about the the levels. Actually, it works out pretty good because then they got some of the experience back that they didn't have before. All right. Now the problem, <laughs> what I'm going to want to do now is get everybody off a of level because everybody's level twenty now. One of those now would 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 one shot my entire party and. So I now got to get them off a of level 20. Basically the way you, there's, I think at least three level, level spells in the game. And they're, they've been, they're in, they're in uh, subsequent Final Fantasies as well. Basically what level spells are, is it's a spell that only hits a character if their level is a multiple, or can be divided by, let's say, the number of the spell. So level five death. If you're, if any character is a multiple or, or di is divisible by five, that character is susceptible, guaranteed. Even if they have a ribbon on or something like that, that would pre normally prevent like a, a KO spell. I think it. I'm pretty sure it it it, it will um it, it'll still affect them. I think there's there's a couple of. I think there's at least three, maybe four. There's a level two, a level three, a level four, and a level five. I think there's, and like level two old, I, th I think level two, the level two spells old. Level th I forget, I forget exactly. It might be le like level three flare. So basically they'll, they'll only be affected by that spell, by a, by a level spell. If it's got a level in front of it. If they're, um, if a character's level is a multiple or divisible by that. Alright, so this is where I'm going to, instead of doing this, because it's actually quite a, uh, quite a lengthy dungeon. So, I'm going to, I'm going to get off now, and uh, we'll continue next time. Maybe even tonight. See you later.